Okay, fourth time's the charm. Hello everybody and welcome back to Disgaea 5 Tyrant Lock. Yeah, the delay on the videos has been a pain in the butt because this, like I said, this is my fourth time trying to record this. Yeah, everything keeps getting in the way. But with all these mistakes on the bright side, I should be able to finish chapter two here and then move on to further advancements. So, uh, and I had such good stories, hopefully I can remember them. Uh, okay, for anyone that doesn't know, Disgaea 5 here is supposed to be the, a prequel to the, is thought to be a prequel to the entire series. As the character Christo there is not actually a demon. He, his horns and wings are fake as according to the guidebook as well as the game, his horns fall off later. But it's he's he's actually an angel due to his showing off some of his specials. We're not going to get to see that. That's why I'm spoiling it a bit. But uh, this guy five here is thought to be a prequel because Christo there his name's not actually Christo and being an angel and everything he looks a lot like Seraph Lamington from the first this guy game. So people think that this is the an event before the first this guy game. Because as well as uh, Flan has been in every Disgaea game up to four in the main story, but she's not in Disgaea Five. As well as other main characters don't show up in Disgaea Five's main story or anything Can canonically, and it's actually thought that there's uh, time time loops, time some problem with time. At the end of the game, that allows the characters to show up. And nice job, Seraphina. <clears throat> yeah, Mad Magnus doesn't look that good doing that. But yeah, that as well as multiple other things, minor little details in this game, such as they refer to as multiple nether worlds as planets, kind of thing. But in each of the other Disguise games, it's always been one individual netherworld each. This is the first one that's really hinted at that there's multiple netherworlds. So the others in the timeline don't know about the other netherworlds. They only know of their own. Yet they all know of Earth. Ugh. Talking for long periods of time is rather tough on the voice. Okay, how did I do this before? I'm coming. Okay, I'm not trying to... Uh... George! Where is the new prey? Okay. So we need to get someone to throw it that far. So that's one, two, three, four. So I need a four thrower there. I'm coming. Or a five thrower here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So now. There we go. Now then, let's get silver out there. Because things are going to come countering at me. Oh shit. I didn't change the jacket yet. I will do... Oh, all these recording sessions. Okay. I'll fix your jacket after I'm done this round. Because I didn't realize I didn't save it after I fixed that last time. Because everything going wrong, I will fix that. Let's get the mages out there too. Actually, I don't think you can reach. No, you can. Sure. 
Let's just execute with that. There we go. Not dead yet. I got that one. Now we just have to worry about the one up top. She's always a pain on the butt on this map. The basic approach on this map is they have range in the middle. A lot of range and a healer at the back. So first you need to get rid of the geo panels. Then you have to find a way to get her down from there. If I remember what I did last time, I used a skull. And I put one of my gunners on it. On my next turn. Here, Christy, you can take a kill. Yeah, our levels are definitely lower than they should be right now. And that's not good. Okay, now we need a gunner up here. Not quite the result I wanted. <sighs> but yeah, the recording sessions have been a pain in the butt. Now we're trying to send at least two units up each side. As well as put enough strength in the middle here to push our way through. Not dead. Five health. That mm, hopefully was not a bad thing. Oh, still good. Still good. No, you're not, Xander. We have some good defenses. Oh, why me and my mouth? Me and my big mouth. Me and my big meow. Let's go for a killer spin. Let's just try not to lose anyone yet, because that would, again, be a very bad idea. Man, quarter guy, you put up one hell of a lot of damage. Either get her off of up there or... Ah, uh, there she goes. Oh, shit. There she goes. 
Oh, that's not good. Oh, please don't poison. That's the one problem with zombies is, is they poison a lot. Okay, we got you off your high horse. Take out the healer first. Some of these combo attack that's one thing in this guy games is generally you go for the combo attacks early game and then when you have AoE specials later in the game you use AoE specials and you kind of forget to use combo attacks because they're not going to work as well. Oh that didn't work. <laughs> Xander and Death. Those two are my friends, and that's just great. That's just great. Bang, bang! I don't think your magic can reach. Nope. Not quite. Fire Mage Star? Nope. I'll say that for next turn. So I have an idea for that. Meanwhile. Hey, okay, Mr. Muscle. Nice shot. <clears throat> Don't lose your head, buddy. Ha! I funny. Here, Christy, grab someone. Oh god, that sounds wrong. Fox Spirit Dance. That works. Okay, we finally have the recording working right. Let's hope it stays working right. I will admit, I love the way Spirit and Tournament looks. It looks so awesome with the blue flames and the bones and everything. Sands and Papyrus would feel right at home. Well, Sands would feel right at home. The whole blue flame motif would work for him. Papyrus would be wondering why so many lazy bones are lying all over the place. <laughs> also, the guillotines are a nice touch. Oh, I love it. It looks so cool. Although the sky reminds me of the one villain from Dragon Ball Super. Oh god, I'm dating this video. Why? I'm so bad. But yeah, the timeline order that they have for Disgaea, for this Gaia series is thought to be Disgaea 5 is the first one. We have an emergency. Disgaea 1 and D2. Then Disgaea 2. Then. Three and. Well, no. Then 3 and 4. Because, okay. I, you know how I mentioned that Flan's always in the game? Well, in the first game, she's an angel trainee. D2 and Disgaea 2. Uh, she's a fallen angel. Yes, Disguise 3, you see her as a fallen angel essentially 
trying to regain her angel status. And she, uh, yes, I know that's in the Razzle chapter, but that is the ra the actual chapters are just a continuation of the main story. They're not actually just DLC battles. It's actually they're attacked on. They're more canon than anything. But uh, the other saying, she's now the saying. Uh, this guy three. Flan is seen as uh, trying to regain her angel status from fallen angel to angel. Then in the sky of four, she shows up as an archangel, showing progression of her growing back. There's actually a nice Laharl comic I saw of that, where Laharl's nice enough to give her, her the angel rose back to try and become an angel again. She's so happy, but it, then as she walks away, Laharl's seen crying because. He just let one of his best friends go and grow and just like, Aw, Laharl! But yeah, because this game's seen as a prequel, people think that, uh, Kilia is somehow related to Laharl and his dad? Maybe an ancestor? Yeah, maybe an ancestor? This kid is a demon general? Maybe so Laharl's great grandfather? I Same hair color as his dad as Laharl's dad. Temper, temper, Margarita. This is... What destructive magical power! Uh -oh. <laughs> this is starting to get fun. Stop saying such idiotic things. She, she has way too big a gap over our power level. There's this much of a difference between her potential and ours. I made a miscalculation. If I die here. I'll never be cleared of my suspicion, and everything will end. My only choice is to escape. Oh yeah, before I execute you, let me ask you something. Do you guys know a little girl with a yellow print? A little girl with a yellow print? What are you talking about? A little yellow print. Or a little girl with a yellow print. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I can speak gibberish. Very fluently. This is the overlord of spirit internment geese. Kill and recycle. I kill them with my very own hands and revived. It only possesses one ten thousandth of my magical power, but that should be enough to handle you guys. He right? is cocky, little brat. Now, overlord geese, reap their lives. Wait. Are you actually running away? <laughs> running away? Don't be so cocky. I'm saying that you guys aren't worth my time. We'll see about that. You're wide open! <laughs> A meat shield? How presumptuous. If I use printies like that, it'll be very... Rod and meat shield at that. In fact, I don't think zombies would work too well as a meat shield. When bullets go right through them, because rod and flesh, bone, whatnot. That isn't something you should feel bitter about, Kilia. Demon General Margarita has so much magical power she can easily control overlords. We don't stand a chance of defeating her. Let's focus on the enemy in front of us. Even if it is a corpse, it's still the Overlord of Spirit Interment. This is going to be tough. You have no idea. Not like I haven't done this battle repeatedly now. And I still can't get past it easy. That's easy! We'll just beat them half to death! Oh, wait, they're... they're already dead. That joke. That joke. What should we do? Wait, does that... Explain why you, in other tale you can't beat Sans properly.
Okay, let's see here. Our main objective is to get up there, smash that. You need it broken, so he can't keep leveling up. But we have to fight through the zombies first. Or use a different approach. Charge! You have throws four, right? At this point, I'm using you two as throws. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Okay. Coming. Where is the new prey? Oh, so close to him. So close to that thing. Well, if that's the case, I might as well deal as much damage as I can. Gunner's out. Here you are. Me just behind that. Let's get you to safety. There. Unfortunately, we now have to get to him. <clears throat> Our basic form formation is turtle formation behind defenses as we try and plow through the zombies with our strongest up there killing the symbol and bailing as fast as he can. Looks like he only recently became a corpse. We're in luck. He's no longer an overlord and his corpse is still weak. Looks weak. Now just need to do that ten more times. Shit, that's a lot on me. Oh no. All these attacks, this is gonna suck. Oh. Where are guys taking those hits now? On the right side? On the downside, he's poisoned. Shit, 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 shit. On the double downside, Silvermont's poisoned. Double shit. Well, okay. We can try and take take care of these guys with some victory bullets. Please tell me I actually have stuff to heal poison. I only have a few. I have to use that on myself.
Okay, they're not dead. They are so not dead. I was trying to kill. That sucks. These zombies are a pain in the butt. Chrissy, you move back. We cannot lose a mage here. Hopefully I'm doing better this time. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Okay. Quarter guy is holding his own up there. And my line is holding at the very least. As I say as I get smacked in the face. They're going to poison me again. Get up there. Fast. Oh no, she's... Oh no. She's bad. She's in really bad shape. Okay, let's start with a victory bullet to try and clear these two out. <laughs> <Please listen to myself. laughs> Got him. Okay, now you can heal her up. There we go. My mages should be able to handle the last one. Let's just, no, let's just... Get him up there. There we go. Yeah, let's go. Nice. Nice one, Kit. Okay, uh, that's almost all the actions. On the upside. Save them! I think now a better idea. Should be able to take a few hits and I can heal him next turn. Okay. Now we can move my army up. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm here having a heart attack because even though the recordings have screwed up before, I've still lost people. Oh shit, what's his level at now? Oh no, I screwed up. I forgot. I've been trying to get there, but I didn't get there fast enough. Oh god, what is, what's his level setting at now? Oh shit. No. No. Yeah, he's ten. 
It's almost double half my team. Oh, that'll be useful. Oh, I could have done that a while ago. Wow, I mean stupid. Oh, that was bad. There. Okay, yeah, we're in better shape now. Now we just need to get my mages within range. I can totally magic snipe them. The my Asagis are great. The Gunners classes are great in this. Oh no. That's a little bit too much. Magic to change you onto you. There we go. Here's Xander, you can be wielded by a knight. Uh oh, that'll come in handy. I just need to get Wait, what do you magic change into? Not bad. A little bit more fitting if you're a bow, but... Because I know my friend Destiny. A.K.A. Red Girl. She'd want a bow. Oh well. Now everyone! Unload! <laughs> we gotta need this guy dead. Like, really dead. Badly dead. Hopefully this combo gets them. On the bright side, we haven't lost anyone this time. Some of my other recordings, we lost people. Unfortunately, we, well, I guess fortunately, couldn't keep the recording to say someone died. <laughs> oh, they're still not dead? Guess Priscilla picks up the kill. Or not. Oh no. What's this? Ow. Oh. 
quarter keg the guy I was like, Miracle Regen? What's this? Uh, he healed all his health back for a moment. Okay, that's the end of chapter two. We didn't lose anyone though. Still doing good on the Tyrant Lock. So far, no one's dead. <laughs> Turn a corpse into an ally. Turn dead things into working for you. Oh right, you are doing. Uh, sometimes the jokes in this game are really good. Sometimes not so much, but they're still hilarious. General Margarita. She killed an overlord and turned him into a puppet. That alone is truly horrifying. We have to do something about her quick, or else she's only going to make things more complicated for us. What's wrong, Sir Kilia? Are you going to say that you can't fight women or children? No, it's not that. Good. We can't show any mercy to the enemy. If they face us, we must take them all on, regardless of their age or gender. As one who's aiming to become the strongest overlord, Red Magnus would prefer not And to we're about to get yet another new character introduced. Like, that's one thing this game does a lot. It's like, here, at end of each early chapter, here's a new character, here's a new character, here's a new character. That is something I'm starting to get worried about. I mean, you have to face some of the tougher opponents like the Demon Generals. Oh god. He won't even take notice of us. But if we can gain more numbers and become an organization, we'll become a great power indeed. An organization? Are you suggesting that we Normally I would have brought this into two episodes, but yes. this I figure I, I, I've been screwing up this recording enough. I'm just going to keep it one, one video. One episode. Even if it is running a little long. So... Enjoy! At the very least, we finished chapter two now. Can you stop that thing when you shoot me in the back? Did I not mention that you are mine, Sir Kilia? Well, we've done chapter two selfish. and moving on to chapter three. She's right. It's foolish to act on your own. If we can organize a rebel army, our chances of defeating Void Dark. Oh, I think chapter three has the has a protection mission. Shit. Organize a rebel army. Killian, do you find any flaw in what I'm saying? Also, if anyone's been watching my channel, I just started uh, playing Mega Dimension Neptunia V2. First episode's up, and then, yeah, it's an hour long. But that one, I'm taking a different approach than this. This one, I'm recording in chunks and then publishing. 
Neptunia, I will be streaming and posting their recorded streams. Red Magnus doesn't quite super understand everything, but we're gonna be You don't understand anything, Magnus. You know who Red Magnus reminds me of? If any of you remember remember Darkstalkers? The Demon Hunter Donovan. Do the beads around his necks and like the bulging muscles. Although Donovan was smarter. <laughs> what you looking around for? I'm right here. Hello, Black Star. I mean, not Black Star. Is he friend or foe? Please look forward to next week. Hopefully, it doesn't take a week for me to get these episodes out. According to historians, otherwise, he speaks the truth, and that's bad. But this is officially the end of chapter two. I hope uh, I hope to see you guys in the next episode. And we'll be continuing on into chapter three. Hopefully this doesn't take so much, but uh yay, end credit piece. Or end chapter piece. Oh god, this one. You ain't that smart, Seraphina. Fight for my love. A massive battle royale is about to begin. The one who will super win Sarah's love is me. The strongest of the top dogs of this academy. I love the way he looks. The chairman of the discipline club. Wrong. Seraphina's love is all mine. <laughs> a new transfer student and her childhood friend, Kilia. Next time on Another World Academy Disgaea, Episode 3 Battle Roy Love. My beauty is a sin. You're gonna ignore me? I need love too. <laughs> no, you don't, kid. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, like and subscribe to see more, and let me know what you think. Leave a comment, and the character creation is still up. So if you guys want, throw a character in any in in the comments of any of the videos, and they'll be in the next one. Cause I have a feeling we're going to lose someone soon, so we're going to need more characters. So recruit your friends, send them in to join me. So I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye.